Not one, not two, but now three straight Cal Poly volleyball seasons advance into the NCAA tournament. The Mustangs earning their first at-large bid since 2002, making their way up to Palo Alto for the Stanford Sub-Regional. KSBY's Rob Ship was there for Cal Poly's first round matchup with Georgia. Chance, when the regular season ended about two weeks ago, the Cal Poly volleyball team did not know its tournament fate. But on Sunday, the team gathered at head coach Carolyn Walters' house to watch the selection show, and that's when the Mustangs saw their name come across the screen. Cal Poly getting an at-large bid into the NCAA tournament, and the Mustangs getting even bigger news today for their first round matchup against Georgia. Cal Poly taking on the Bulldogs in round one, and look who's back, Tori Van Winden back in the lineup for the first time this season and the reigning Big West Player of the Year, making her presence felt immediately. That puts Polly on the board in the first. Then later in the set, Polly keeping it tight. Madeline Mercer going up high for the kill. Stangs go up 15-14. But Georgia comes storming back, and on set point, this one wins it for the dogs. Georgia takes the first set, 25-23. And they'd ride that momentum into the second. That's Sage Navis with the blast. Georgia wins the second set. 25-22. But the Mustangs not going down without a fight. In the third, it's Van Winden setting the tone. The senior pumped after this kill. That cuts the lead to just one. Then later in the set, Jessica McCroskey, same spot, same result. Mustangs take a 21-19 lead. And then it's Van Winden putting the finishing touches on this one. Avalon Denekeshe with the set. Van Winden seals it. Mustangs stay alive. They take the third set, 25 to 20. And the Stangs riding that wave in the fourth. Meredith Phillips crushing this one inside the line. That gives Cal Poly a 19-18 lead. Then the Mustangs playing some D. Both Denekeshe and Mercer crashing the net. And that wins it for Cal Poly. The Mustangs win the fourth and tie the match at two sets apiece. And in the fifth, all the momentum on Cal Poly's side. Mercer going up high for the quick kill. That gives the Mustangs an early 2-1 lead. Stangs now on the near side, and it's Leah Unger coming through in crunch time. She gets the ace. That puts Polly up 13-7. And then on match point, Denekeshe to McCroskey, and the comeback is complete. The Mustangs erase a two-set deficit, and they storm back to take down Georgia three sets to two. Every one of our 19 kids understands that they have the ability to impact a match, regardless of if they're on the court for us or not. And I think coming back uh, with a reverse sweep speaks volumes of that for us. So I'm just really proud of, of every single one of the girls in our program. I think that it takes a very special group of people to do something like that. Um, and being able to pull that off just proves that we have all the pieces that we need to go really far in this tournament. So the Mustangs saved their most dramatic win for the NCAA tournament. Cal Poly erases a two-set deficit and gets the reverse sweep over Georgia as they defeat the Bulldogs three sets to two. It's the first time Cal Poly has done that this season. The Mustangs will now look ahead as they try to get to their first Sweet 16 since 2007. Reporting in Palo Alto, Rob Schiff, KSBY News. Thanks so much, Rob. Cal Poly will now take on the defending national champs and the hosts of the sub-regional. Stanford, the Cardinal, swept Denver 3-0. The second round match is set for 6 o'clock Saturday night. In the second round of the Texas sub-regional, after taking a 2-1 set lead, UC Santa Barbara dropped two straight sets to the Longhorns, and they fell 3-2, ending their season. The Gauchos finished with a 22-6 record.